Hey guys, it's Monday, February 12th, back from the weekend. Hope you guys are having a good Monday so far. Uh, mine's been kind of crummy, but, you know, whatever. It happens. As you can see, the, uh, the beard has reached uh, what I affectionately refer to as either the going down range or escaped felon stage. Uh, it's coming in and it's itchy and uh, hopefully won't have to have this for much more than another week or so. Uh, we'll see when uh, when the filming dates are. But uh, yeah, so no more information than that, but it's coming in, so we'll see where it goes. Uh, Sands of Omega, we are, what, 17,000 words in? Yeah, about 17,000 in. Um, it's humming along nicely. It's uh, got a little bit more depth to it in the second installment. If you haven't uh, checked out The Last Vampire yet, <coughs> excuse me, I encourage you to do so. Um, this second installment is going to build on a lot of what Declan discovered towards the end of The Last Vampire. And uh, we're going into some uncharted territory with that, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, what else? What else? Monday motivation. Well, let's see. Since I've had a crummy Monday... Um, do I have any motivation for you today? Well, of course I do. I mean, you know, the fact of the matter is is that Mondays or certain other days, any day really for that matter, always has the potential to go not the way you hoped it was going to go. You know, usually on Monday mornings, most people wake up and go, okay, I'm going to be positive. Monday's going to be awesome. And then sometimes that just doesn't happen. So, you know, when these days like this happen, you know, all you can do is, uh, is tackle little things that come up one, one bit at a time, you know. I mean, I know I, I, I say that a lot because I think the tendency for a lot of people is to just look at the, at the whole landscape as incredibly daunting and think to themselves, how in the world am I ever going to get through this? I kind of look at it the opposite way. I see the general landscape, but then I look at right in front. Uh, look at what right is right in front of me. Thank you. This is live, people. We don't edit this. Uh, what is right in front of me immediately, and then I tackle that, and then I go on to the next thing, go on to the next thing, go on to the next thing. Um, at certain points in my life, when I was going through tough things uh, regarding career choice or two of mine it was always a question of not focusing so much on the end game as much as the game that was right in front of you at that moment so if you're going through something trying just focus on what's right in front of you right now what do you have to do to get through this to reach the next little bit further down the path and that's where your focus should be if a lot of times, if you look at the big picture, it's just way too overwhelming. And you get a sense of hopelessness. I'm never going to make it. It's going to take too much. I don't have the energy. I don't have the willpower. Instead, if you can look at the smaller tasks that are right in front of you, that are much smaller, you can say to yourself, okay, I can, I can hack that. I know that. Um, so let me get this done, and then I'll move on to the next thing. And then I'll move on to the next thing. And before you know it, you're handling stuff as it comes. And you're on to the bigger picture. And the bigger picture isn't that big anymore. Because you've broken it up into smaller manageable chunks. And that's, that's usually my advice for folks who are facing seemingly insurmountable challenges. You know, it's, it's not just this one huge challenge. Anything can be broken down into manageable portions. Um, you know, whether it's a, a, a huge bill that you suddenly have to pay or if it's some sort of family crisis, you know, there are, there are little things that you can do. There are always steps you can take to make things more manageable for yourself. And spiritually and mentally and physically, it's just better that way to break it down into, into small manageable chunks than it is trying to tackle just this huge uh, problem that's right in front of you. So that's kind of my Monday motivation. It's advice. It's, it's what I did today when I had some stuff come at me that wasn't particularly pleasant, but I had to deal with it. And, you know, rather than, again, look at like, oh my God, 
how am I going to, you know, get through this? It was, okay, well, here's this piece. Let's get that done. Boom, done. Okay, what's next? Okay, let's get that done. Get that out of the way. And then pretty soon, you know, this big giant problem wasn't such a big giant problem anymore. It's just a matter of breaking it down into steps that you know you can handle. And that would be my Monday motivation for today. Um, excuse the uh, little tongue-tied, I blame the beard. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Anyway, I will be back uh, hopefully tomorrow with another update, and I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday and a good week ahead. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.